welcome back to Desert DIY. I'm Corey. If you're new here, please like and subscribe to my page. And if you're returning, thank you so much for visiting me. <laughs> Here's my little buddy Nino. He wanted to come and say hi today. So today I have a really special video. I'm doing another challenge, but this is the $5 Goodwill challenge that is not about clothes. It's just about home decor items. Uh, this challenge was started by Old World Home on YouTube, and her video was like a uh, sunroom makeover. <laughs> Okay, Nino, say hello. <laughs> so her makeover um, was these really awesome frames that were like a gold gilded frame. And my makeover is of a $1.99 lamp and some $3 fabric. And I redid this terribly ugly lamp into something absolutely adorable and shabby chic. So let me give you a sneak peek. Oh my gosh. Wasn't I right? Isn't it cute? I have actually never done a project like this, so I was learning as I was creating, and that's usually how I do things. So please stay tuned and watch how I turned an ugly lamp into a cute little shabby sheep lamp. This lamp was $1.99, and it's brass with marble, and it came with the shade, which is kind of unusual now because Goodwill has started selling their lamps faces and shades separately to make more money, which is kind of a bit of a ripoff, but I guess I kind of understand because people mix and match the shades in the store to try and get the best deal, so maybe they got tired of that, I don't know. But um, what I'm gonna do is I have to address this broken lampshade. Lampshades are really expensive and I didn't want to have to replace this one or, or buy another one, a different one from Goodwill. So I decided that um, after staring at it for a while, I decided that I'm going to take a fabric and cut it into long strips and wrap it around the lampshade and give it kind of a shabby chic look. I've never done this before and I just got inspired to do it and I hope it turns out great. But I'm going to start by bringing the lampshade over and I'm going to thread my needle here because when I cut my fabric into strips, I'm gonna sew it on here so that it stays when I try and wrap it and then when I have a new piece, I'll do the same thing. I'll sew it on and then wrap it, wrap it, wrap it and sew the end piece. I finished threading my needle and now I'm gonna cut my fabric into long strips. The longer the strips are, the faster the project will go because I won't have to keep sewing on new pieces. Now I have to decide how wide I want these strips to be and I want them to be kind of wide I think if they were skinnier, you might see the broken lampshade behind the fabric more. So I'm gonna do, looks like about three inches wide. I've finished cutting all my fabric into strips and now I'm going to bring my lamp over here and start trying on these strips of fabric to see how they've turned out and see how I like it because like I said I, I've never done this before so it was just an interesting idea that popped into my head and I thought oh well I'm gonna go for it. I have finished covering the lampshade all the way around and when I was looking at it I thought it was still kind of missing something around the edges, the top and the bottom. So I was looking at my extra fabric and I thought if I twisted it and then wrapped it around the bottom it would be a nice finished edge for the piece. So that's what I'm going to do now.
there you have it. The lampshade is finished. So I've washed my brush and I'm going to sand down and distress the piece with the same sandpaper that I used yesterday for my other furniture project. <laughs> my dogs are playing. And um, once I'm done sanding it, I'm going to seal it again with the same polycrylic, the water braced clear coat. And um, it's going to look nice and shabby chic. I'm going to go inside and wash off my paintbrush one more time and then I'm also going to give the lamp a little bit of a wipe down and clean up the marble, clean up any spots where my paint got onto the marble and then I'm done. <laughs>